All right, and you know, OG knows I love a good documentary and it's mm -hmm. history lesson time. Yeah, very excited to hear about this, OG. This is going to be at the top of you guys' list for sure. So in the last hour, in honor of Black History Month, we showcased some musty films filed under the Black Excellence category. Mm -hmm. While the documentary we're about to share with you is beyond excellent. It's a much needed lesson in Black history and class <laughs> is in session. It's titled, Who We Are, A Chronicle of Racism in America. If I make the statement to you, America was founded on white supremacy. You could say, Jeff, that's an extreme statement. And what I would say to you is, don't believe a word I say about it. All you have to do is go look. Slavery had nothing to do with the war because they were treated as family. I don't know if he can be reached, but if no one tries, he definitely won't change. Listen, no one breaks down this country's complex origin story like Jeffrey Robinson does in this film. He's a former ACLU deputy legal director and founder of the Who We Are Project. And we are super excited to have the oh-so-brilliant Mr. Jeffrey Robinson with us this morning. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. Oh, my God. I've been raving about this documentary, like, all morning. I'm just telling you, like, I know, like, listen, like, I am the loudest person. I've been talking about it nonstop about how you tackle this topic. And you can't blame me if I accidentally call you professor during this interview, because this film <laughs> is a master class, Mr. Robinson. Master class. Thank you. All right, so we're going to start off by sharing a couple of quotes from the film world, right? Award-winning documentary filmmaker Michael Moore says it's a must-see and a masterpiece. Variety calls it a sounding alarm for America and the world to grapple with its original sin. And it scored 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> What was what was your what was your goal going into this? Because it's not for the reviews. This is your calling. This is your purpose. After people see it, they'll agree with what I just said right now. What was your goal going into this? And was this always the plan, or did it just happen? No, I had no plans on making a film whatsoever. I started to develop a three-hour presentation on history of anti-black racism in this country that I found when I started doing some research. And it was stuff that I found in my 50s that I had never been taught before, despite my education at some of the best schools in America. So uh, I put this together and as luck would have it, I ran into Sarah Kunstler, mm -hmm. a criminal defense lawyer and the daughter of William Kunstler, the renowned civil rights lawyer. And she saw me give the presentation, and she and her sister Emily are filmmakers. And they contacted me and said, this should be a documentary. And after a lot of conversation and a lot of getting to know each other, we started on this journey and created this documentary. I'm telling you, your personal connection to it, your personal touch to it takes it to a whole other level. Talking about the, the Martin Luther King march to him being uh, assassinated in your hometown, to you going back to your school where you and your brother were the first two black kids in the school. It is just so moving. Going back to the first your, the house your parents bought thanks to a, another white family, it's just incredible. And all your entire journey is inspirational. It's just like, I'm like in awe of you. And now you have founded the Who We Are Project. So tell us what it's about and how we can all get involved and get on the journey. I'm already stalking you guys on Instagram, by the way, so. Well, thank you. The Who We Are Project, I actually left the ACLU in March of last year, and that was a fantastic job. But I knew that there were other people in the criminal defense community across the country who were ready for leadership and could step into my job at the ACLU. And I knew that education about our true history is so critically important. That's what the Who We Are Project is about, educating our youth, educating our communities and educating corporate and government offices about the truth about why America looks like it does today. And if we reckon with the truth instead of a myth, we have a much better chance of coming up with solutions going forward that will actually address the problem that brought us to where we are today in 2021. That's what the Who We Are Project is about. We are going to focus on education. And I think that when people hear this information, it will have a profound effect on the way they see our country and what we need to do. 
Uh, let me, I was telling them earlier that you, sir, are the MVP of tackling tough topics, from slavery to civil rights to white supremacy, and the film title has the words Chronicles of Racism in America. And it feels to me like the same issues keep showing up, but just in a different costume. It's like every Halloween, OG goes to a Halloween a party, but I'm just wearing a different costume. It looks different, still same OG. So what would you say are the first steps to changing this whole situation? I think when you when you think about why we have taken two steps forward and three steps backward when it comes to racial justice in America, it's because we have never reckoned with our true history. For many people, yeah, there was slavery, but the civil rights movement cleared all that up, and since then, everything's been fine. And that is one narrative about America. But if you dig just a little deeper, the true facts of our history are hiding in plain sight. And if we understand and reckon with that history, we have a much better chance of coming up with solutions that will actually address the problems that are causing America to look like it does today. The truth is something that is inescapable. And if we reckon with it, we are headed in the right direction. Uh, Mr. Robinson, you are the truth. Seriously, my new hero. Thank you for sharing your work with us. Who We Are, a chronicle of racism in America hits theaters nationwide on Friday. Go check it out. You will not be disappointed. Uh, it is a masterclass we all have to see. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. Such a pleasure it. to meet you.